In some of your classes, you might be asked to use the discussion board in Blackboard or another learning management system. That allows you to have discussions with other students in the class, but on your own time, not during a classroom session. Both class classroom sessions and distance learning classes might use that. I need to share some terms. A forum is like a, a chapter or a topic, and so you may have one or many forums. Within a forum, you and some other students will have a thread. You'll have a threaded discussion. The thread could be one that you made, or it might be that the teacher created the thread, and then you'll reply to it. I will show you both. When you write a message, it's called either a post or a message. And when you answer someone else back after they posted something, it's called a reply. Let's go look now at some examples. Here is a discussion board in one of my classes. These are the forums. One, two, three, four forums. They don't happen to be chapters, but they are different things to do. If you click on the reddish part, you know, it doesn't have to be blue and underlined anymore, that will open the forum for you. If you are reading every message in the forum, some teachers expect that and some don't, then if you look on the right hand side in that blue ball, teal ball, you'll see which messages have not been read yet, so you can go back and read those. Okay, let's click in this introduction forum, and you'll notice that up at the top it says create thread. This is an example of one where you would create the thread yourself. Now, if you came over to this forum, this is for a different class, and go look at the, for, at the forum here, you'll see that there's no create thread information there because you are not allowed to create the thread. You can only reply to threads that the teacher wrote for you. So two ways to do that. Now, let's <clears throat> look at a thread in a forum. I'll just click on it to open it. This forum has two posts in it. There's one post and one reply, and they show up together. Each of a single thread will show up together. If you want to reply to the original post, you would click the reply message and that would allow you to open a box to reply. And your teacher may have specific requirements for the subject line. You type something in the message and then click submit. Let's go back and look at another one. I do my navigating of discussion boards, well, all of Blackboard up here. It's kind of like the Hansel and Gretel bread crumb trail. Instead of backing all the way out, I can just come up to here. And there are a couple of ways to view the posts. You can view them in the list view or in the tree view. Do you see up here the list view and the tree view? Okay. I like the tree view better because then it shows me every message that has a reply to it. So for example, this one down here at the bottom, this Leah's introduction, well, there's no reply to Leah yet because there's no plus sign. If I want to see all of the messages in the line, I can click on Expand All. And then if you look at the way it's outlined, there's the original post with a minus beside it now because it's expanded, and then the reply messages beneath it. This one seems to have only a post and a reply or two, 
only two levels, but sometimes you can get three levels deep or even four. And any time you want to read a thread, you click on it and it will open it for you. The same would apply over here. I would go up and select the tree view. And then I can expand all and see all of the messages at once. Or I can collapse it and then I will see only which messages have a reply by them having a plus sign beside them. Well, I hope that has been a good little introduction to get you started. I tend to always put um, something like practice and play area, not in this class, but I did in this other class, so that if you haven't used the discussion board, you can practice before you do a real post. Or you could ask me to delete it for you if there was a mistake. Have fun!